Okay, great. So all I've got ready, and I promise I'm going to use them, is my hand weights. So would you like to grab something, either cans of baked beans, chickpeas, or if you happen to have hand weights closed, awesome, you need them this morning. And of course your mat, your mat, or at least a cushion surface for you to work on. Okie doke. Let's do it. Okay, can you stand up with me? Can you head to the back of your mat? Apologies already. It's a little bit of an athletic start. Come with me. You ready? So slight bend in your knees on your takeoff. Roll down. Hip off the stack of your head. I'm bending my knees. Make sure you are. I'm still bending my knees. Make sure you are head towards your floor. Walk out. Right, left, right. You're in a plank. Hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bend your knees and creep back. Dangle and roll back up. Don't take too long. We're already at the top. Stretch your legs and look up. Tip off the stack. I'm already bending my knees. Make sure you are. Knees are bent. See if you can touch the ground with your bent knees. Round back. Walk out. Right, left, right, left. We're in plank. Hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Really feel your legs. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bend your legs and walk back in as quickly as you can. And unravel. Really roll through your lower back. Sweep your arms around and up. Hold this position. Just double check you didn't swing your pelvis back. Here we go. Open your arms. Cat stretch standing. Just pause. Do you look like me? The bent legs, rounded back. It's a cat stretch in your standing position. Now go forward. Now walk out. And you're in your plank. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Walk back in quickly and roll. Sweep your arms around and look up, reach up. Just stay. Legs should be fully extended. Feel all 10 tippy toes on the floor. Just check you didn't throw your pelvis back. And open your arms. You're a cat stretch standing. Just stay. Do you look like me? I'm not very deep yet. I'm just working on the curve in the spine. I'm working on the pull back with the waist. And now without letting my waist go, I roll over the top. Quickly walk out. Hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As fast as you can, walk back. And roll through the spine. Good. This time we're going to add. So you're looking up. This time when we walk out, we're staying. Open your arms and round your back. Flex, flex, flex. Now roll down as far as you can. And walk out quickly. Hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. Gently kneel. Sit back into child pose. Good. Hold this position in your child pose. Such a great stretch. Hope you're liking it as much as me. I feel I feel a shin stretch. Weight for my knees. My buttocks. I feel a lower back. All the skin across my mid back stretching. I'm trying to widen my collarbones at the same time, stretch my elbows, outstretch my arms. Spreading and opening my palms, fingers. I've done a lot of typing already this week. So just to get the palm open again. I like stretching my elbows because I know it tones up those tricep muscles, the underside of my arms. 
so great for my shoulders, stretching through the lats. Good. From there, you're going to curl up into your cat stretch. So that's exactly what we just worked on standing. Just pause for a minute. Can you drop the head? Can you tuck your tail between your legs? Can you draw the abdominal wall up? It feels like it's scooping. Now keep the control through your center and slowly layer through. Try not to drop your weight into your wrist. Walk your eyes up the wall in front and onto the ceiling. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Pelvis is lowering, chest is lifting. Tuck us back in, round the back and sit us back into child pose. Opening up the front of the ankle, stretching the shins, the quads, the thighs, the buttocks. Getting us ready for single leg stretch and roll like a ball. Getting us ready for the 100 by stretching through that back, that lower back. Curl back up, cat curl, spread your shoulders. Arms like pistons, lower the pelvis without letting your weight fall into your wrist. Push the floor away. Feel the stretch through the front of your body. Opening up the chest. Really work your shoulders. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. And round us in. Pelvis, flex us and sit us back. So you kind of know the breath as you're moving, but knowing to kind of set a pattern, but it's so lovely to be with the breath. Monitoring just you're there. You have a presence with the breath. Try it this time. As you move into the cat, notice your breath. As you lower the pelvis down, notice your breath. As you round into the cat curl again, notice your breath. As you sit back into the child pose, notice your breath. Scoot your fingertips round to the left. I don't know about you, but I'm always right through here. That's why my hundreds is so difficult. It's why I find roll like a ball so hard. It's why I find the roll up so hard. You're getting an insight playing with me on Thursday morning. These are all my tricks. These are all the things I do prior to starting any mat practice, any reformer practice. Great. And returning back in, crossing, sitting back down on your buttocks, opening up. Side reach, tip over to the side, reach those fingers as far away as you can. And side bend, such a delicious stretch. And lift us back up and sit. At this moment right now, I'm trying to make myself feel way taller than five foot two. Tipping over to the side, reach, 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 and side bend. Feel the opening through those side ribs, your waist your shoulders, really outstretch the arms and tip like an aeroplane in the ceiling. Traveling sideways over you go. And lift back up, you're in the flow and sit. And you're in the flow to tip. Now you're in the flow of the side, the spine, the arm, through the shoulder. And lift back up and sit. Let's add some rotation. Let's go over. Let's sweep that top arm and look at the floor. Try and take the top arm all the way down to the floor. And now let's follow it. Let's sweep back up. Let's look up. Let's sit tall. And across to the other side, it goes over your head. It goes turning the chest to the floor, touch the floor. It goes all the way back over your head. Look up and sit. And it goes over 
and turn and sweep. This time, follow it the other way. And sweep it back up and touch it down and scoop it back to centre. Open your arms and tip. I know that was a little funky, wasn't it? And sweep over. And open it up. Turn it back. And come back the way you came. All the way over again and just recoil. Let's try that one more time. And tip. And go over. And sweep it, turn it, twist it, rotate. Get your head moving, those upper back neck joints, and recoil, return. Last time, and go over. Weak. And lift up and turn. And back the way you came. And return. Good, little cat curl sitting. Tuck and roll and draw the head in. Sweep your pelvis back so you've rocked onto the back side of your sit bones. Use your hands. Lift into extension. And again, sweep and tuck and pull into flexion. Rock back with your pelvis. Feel the draw back with the weight. Pelvis goes forward. Spine extends, eyes walk up the wall in front and onto your ceiling. You're in a back bend. Last time, tuck and roll. And stack back up. And extend. Great, reach two arms above your head. Sitting up as tall as you can, arms fully outstretched. Don't worry if the shoulders feel a little high. Your goal is to try and pick up your side bodies, lift the space between your rib cage and pelvis. Deep breath in, count to five. Five count, exhale. Close your eyes. Seven. Good. Back down to your belly, hands on your tummy, little abdominal pumps. You breathe in, think pregnant. Sorry, we're all females in the room, so I can talk like this. Breathe in, fill your belly. So send your belly as far forward into your fingertips as you can. Long, slow exhale, pull it back. Five count, inhale, fill. Five count, exhale. Keep practicing. Five count, inhale, sit, 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 a little taller, a little taller, a little taller. Careful you don't lose your height as you exhale and practice the abdominal pump. Four count. Still four. Three counts. Still three. Two.
one. Five, four, three, two, one. Having fun yet? Okay, I'm on your back. Here we go. All right, pelvic curl should feel pretty good. Let's start with some imprints. So let's set up the feet, really spread the toes. Find both pads of your feet. Send your knees towards the ceiling. That sense of drawing the thigh bone down into your hip. Sense the long spine we've worked on. The awareness across your shoulders, collarbones wide, long outstretched arms, elbows off the floor, work those triceps. Palms open and spread, open up those texting fingers and hands. Usually that fascia gets really tight. Can you get the knuckles on the floor? Deep breath out, imprint, go slow. Rock back, tiny, tiny movement in the pelvis. How small can you make your, control it as you return back to home base, sink long. Keep going, go past home base and allow a little more extension, a little more rise through the lower back. Are you able to do that without pushing through your tummy? Return to home base, sink long. Energy reaching out through the tippy point of your crown of your head as you rock your pelvis back. Think smooth. Slowly reaching back to home base. Think long. Keep moving. The pubic bone goes a little further away from the belly button. You feel a little more space kick in underneath your lower back. Carefully didn't push through the belly wall. Last two. Sit bones gently draw together. Tailbone drawing between your legs. You'll feel your hammy. Careful you don't squeeze your touche. Slowly return. I promise you we'll do some touche work in a minute. And lengthen away. Open up the space between the pubic bone and the belly button. Control it through the abs. Here we go, pelvic curl. Take your time, draw your waist to the floor. That feeling of deepening through your abs. Feels like your back swallowed your tummy. The rising of the pelvis, the raising of the pelvis line. How far can you go? Just stay. When you get to the top and look along the front of the torso, the, the next thing you should see are your thighs. So as you look along, contain through your rib cage, deep through the abdominal wall, space in your waist, we're still up. I promised you I'd give you the touche work. Reach long through that lower back, try and get your sit bones as close to the backs of your knees as you can. Now check your knees, ladies. It's really tempting to spread your legs apart. Try not, but contain it. Work more through the inner thigh. Slowly roll. Only the upper back touches the floor, ladies. Hold this position. Can you get the upper back on the floor, but the pelvis still off? Bring back up. Roll only the upper back to the floor. Careful you didn't roll your shoulders at the same time. Careful you've still got your two outstretched arms. Bring back up. Roll the upper back. Energy reaching out the tippy point of the crown of your head. And lift back up. So careful your lower back doesn't touch the floor. You're in your scoop. You're in your tuck. Only the upper back. And spring back up. Stay. Rotate. Right hip goes up. Left hip goes down. Float back up. Left hip goes up, right hip goes down. Float back up. Careful the bums don't rest. So as you rotate through the pelvis, on the hips, both glutes are working. 
but you'll definitely feel it more on the one that's rising. Super strong through your core. Last time. Stay. Float your right foot up. Were you ready? Float your left foot up. Good job. You've got to try and stay high. Come on, lift up. Push. As you take the floor with your foot, really snatch. You should feel a bite underneath that hamstring hip as you push the foot into the floor. One more each side. Last one. Good. Send the pelvis a little further. Really open up through the front of the hip joint and this time roll all the way through the whole spine. Oh, that's good. Hopefully you've got a butt like mine now. I mean, not like mine, but you really feel your butts. Float those legs. A little bit of a gap between your knees. Squeeze your feet together. Such a tough position, huh? I always aim to try and feel the inner thigh. I do that by squeezing my feet together. I always aim to make sure that my hamstrings right now are not soft resting. So how do I do that? I really draw the thigh heads down into the hip and I turn them out. So it's like a corkscrew action. I've got to try and keep that as a spine twist. Tip legs right, look left. Careful, have you still got that action going on in the leg at the hip? Have you still got the feet pressing together as far across as you can with the feet pressing together? Tip the pelvis. Strong through the core. Using your arms and shoulders as a counterbalance to stay strong and connected through your upper torso. Turn your head and look away. And pull us back. Turn your head and look away. And pull us back. Knees in on your chest. Draw them in really deep. Enjoy this moment. Great stretch for the back. But also it's preparing your hip. Good stretch for the hamstrings. All right, here we go. Bring your head up. So curl into the deep flex position. Knees are on your chest. Knees are apart. Abdominals supporting. We're about to stretch both legs forward. You choose where you're going to practice the hundreds with me this morning. It can be either bent legs or straight. This morning, we're not going to pump the arm. Find your position. Hold it. Breathe in. Count to five. Breathe out. Count to five. Breathe in for five. Are you working your legs? Is that corkscrew action still there? Breathe in for five. Breathe out for five. Have you got your lower back on the floor? Can you feel your inner thighs? Energy drawing into that pelvis line. Can you make the pelvis line narrower? Buffet. I get back in. Quick rest. Ooh. Okay, we're heading to leg circles. So we're going to keep holding left leg this morning. We're going to stretch right leg up to the ceiling. We're going to use our hands to train that left leg and left hip. So we're going to push the left leg up into our hands. Work for the shoulders and arms, really encouraging in the arms and shoulders to be the resistance for the left hip. My right leg's fully outstretched. I'm in turnout. I'm going to come back into parallel to lower it to the floor. Now I'm going to turn it out to sweep it around and bring it back up into parallel as I sweep it down. Rotate it. Open it. Circle it. Two to go. Sweep it down, around and up. Tone that right leg up. Really use your quads, 
your inner thighs, your hamstrings, how much stretch can you get in the leg? Use your calves by pointing your feet. Good, let's switch legs. My right leg is actively pushing up against my right hands. My right hands are creating the resistance. Point through your left foot. Tone up those foot muscles and your calves. Right le left leg goes into parallel, send it forward and down. Open and circle. Monitor your pelvis. Try not to let it sashay swing. Tango classes later tonight. Wouldn't that be fun? I've had that on my goal list for so long and I haven't been able to get there. Probably need to make that happen this year. I go low, circle, I round and up. One more. I go low, circle, around and up. Good. Back to first slide. We're going to reverse the circle. Create the pressure in that left hip. Use the resistance of your hands. It goes open first. Control it. It goes all the way low and around and bring it back up. Green smoothie for your hip. Open it all the way down and bring it back up. Two to go. Open it all the way down and bring it back up. Fully outstretch that leg, really tone it up. Open it all the way down and bring it back up. Switch sides. Work that right hip, push up against your hands and go open it, point your tippy toes, feel the tone in your calf and bring it back up. Come on, don't let that left knee buckle. Open it all the way down, around and up. Push through the stress, you're nearly there. Open it around and bring it back up. Last one. Open it around and bring it back up. Two knees in on your chest. Curl up. In your curl up position, can you feel your waist? In your curled up position, can you narrow your pelvis line? Left leg forward, right leg in, one. Switch sides, two. Knee in on your chest, three. Really think long and toned, four. Feel your waist, five. Narrow through the pelvis line, six. Little quicker, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Knees in. Lie back. Okay. Let's go roll like a ball. Let's start here. And just start baby, baby rocking. Pelvis lifting. Pelvis lifting. Get that pelvis up as far as you can. Because the more you focus on that, the easier it is to get to the top. Pelvis up. And rock and sit. Pelvis up. Rock and sit. Pelvis up. Rock and sit. Pelvis up. Rock and sit. Good. Rest. All right. I'm going to do my spine stretch with hand weights. You don't have to. But I love it. It really connects me to my upper body. And as I'm aging, that's getting more and more important. So if you're the young... You're working towards, you're thinking longevity. Defy the aging process. Come with me on that journey. All right, my legs are the width of the mat. I'm holding onto the weight. I've got two outstretched arms. I'm pushing both calves down into the floor. I'm on a mission to stop my knees from buckling. I'm going to curl and roll and reach forward. I'm going to try and pull my waist back in opposition. Then I'm going to stack and sit and I'm going to open and reach up and touch those weights above my head. My arms are going to come all the way out and then close in front. Squat those arms into your shoulders. Sit tall. Backs of calves pushing down into the floor. Tip off the stack. Flex the spine but feel your waist. Can you pull your waist back? 
stack it back up. Open your arms. Reach them above your head and try and touch. And open. Close them back in. We have two more. Flex. Round. Stretch. Check your legs. Both calves pushing down into the floor. And stack back up. And open. And reach. Good. Place them down. Let's go soar. Let's go over the top right arm. And let's twist and rotate and try and touch the left big toe. Just stay. Are you pressing both calves down into the floor? And can you pull your waist back? Back back up. Look up. Windmill the arms, switch sides. Left comes over the top and tries to touch right big toe. Sit back up, look up. Switch sides. Sweep, flex, rest. Remember your waist. Lift. Sit, last time. Up over the top. Stretch forward. Up over the top. Stay. Go hands behind your head. Can you tilt? So can you, like a leaning tower of Pisa, tilt with me? I'm still pressing both calves into the floor. Lift back up. Another little obsession of mine, my waist. Tip, 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 tip. And lift back up. And tip. And lift. And tip. And lift. Come with me. Twist left. Wrap elbows around your face. Head over to your left knee. Stay. Open your right elbow up. Sit tall. Hit back front. Twist right. Wrap your elbows around your face. Over the top of the right knee, stay. Open your left elbow up and look up towards it. Sit tall. Hit front. Rotate left. Wrap your elbows around your face. Find your waist. Flex forward. Land towards your left knee. Open up right elbow as far as you can. Both calves pressing into the floor, sit tall, hit front one more time. Rotate right, wrap your elbows, feel your waist, flex forward, touch your knee. Open up your left elbow as far as you can, rotate, rotate, hit tall, rest, back support. Hands to the back of your pelvis, bent knees first off, lift your pelvis. Up. Good. Can you feel your palms of your hands and the soles of your feet? So you've got the pads of the feet. You've got all ten toes. Look down the front of your torso. Check your knees. Strong through your core. Lift your weight out of your shoulders. Keep lifting your weight out of, out of your shoulders lower. Good. Strong through your arms. Think like pistons. Lift us up. Strong through your arms, lower us down. One more like this. Lift. Sit. Come on. We can. Stretch those legs. Are you ready? And lift us up. Control it, lower us down. Come on, strong through your legs. Those butts should absolutely be ready for us. We work them at the top of the class. Arms and shoulders, lift your weight. Two to go. Lift us up. Last one. Lift us up. Perfect. Roll us over onto our side. Stack both legs. Remember how I told you I had a waist obsession? It still happens. It still goes. Lift, tap. I wasn't joking. Lift, tap, 
lift, stretch those legs, lift, tap, lift, tap, go on, get up, tap, lift, tap, make sure your butt is on, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap. Second side, are you ready? Come on, stack those feet and lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Tack, lift, tack, lift, tack, check your butt. Lift, tack, lift, tack, three to go. Two and one. Oh, it's going to be a good day. Switch over. Okay, we're going to add. It's really mean, but we're going to do it. It's worth it. So this time as you lift, you've got to raise that top leg. You ready? Lift up, tap. Oh, I lost it. Lift up, tap. 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 Last one, lift up and tap. So good for our hip. And that home through the inner thigh, never mind the waist, the obliques. You ready? And lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, four to go. Lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift, and tap. Great. Side kick's going to feel so good now. Okay. I'm pinned, but I'm still low. So my hands are behind my head but I've got the torso down. Now be careful, it's such a temptation to rest here. You make it twice as hard. Come on, tone that waist, pick it up. Stretch both legs, bring them slightly further forward. Raise the top leg, slowly. Sweep it forward, don't let that underneath leg buckle. Sweep it back. Point your foot and send it behind. Check that underneath leg, check your waist. And you lift out of your weight. Bring it home. Sweep it forward. Up, 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 up. Bring it back. Now I want you to tip. So can you turn your top chest towards the floor as you sweep it back? Bring it home. Now we're going to tip the other way. Can you turn back? And bring it home. Can you rotate forward? And bring it back. Careful that waist doesn't go slack. Bring it forward and tip, 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 tip. And bring it home. And bring it forward. Rotate, rotate, rotate. And bring it home. Last one. Really stretch your legs. Think tone. And bring it back. And rotate it forward, forward, forward. And bring it back. Good. Other side. Do you like that? I like that. So playful. And it really encourages me to use my whole body. Okay, first one's plain. Okay, play. Turn, turn, turn. Reach it back. And how far can you turn this way? Good. My goal is to keep my underside off the off the floor, off the mat. Very mindful of my left shoulder, so I've got to support through there rather than collapse my body weight through there. So it's kind of a pivot on that left shoulder. Good, keep feeling your butt. Last one. Quads, knees, careful they don't buckle. Wait. Good, rest. I think it's a swim day. We haven't done swim for ages. 
I think it's a swim day. All right, let's go. So let's prepare for it. Let's grab your weights. Let's start. Pick the shoulders up, step one. Raise the arms up, step two. And just hold it. Make sure you've got your pelvis line, the pubic bone on the floor. Make sure both knees are up off the ground, really stretch those legs. Lower your weights down, rest your shoulders. Let's get ready to go again. Pick the shoulders up, one. Raise your arms, two. Think long, bring your head up, but keep your front rib cage on the floor. Hold it, hold it, hold it, and lower back down. Wish I hadn't got such heavy weights. Hopefully yours are not too heavy. Pick your shoulders up, one. Raise your arm, two. Pick your head, face, think long. Find your waist. Stretch your elbows and legs. And rest. Okay, let's get rid of those. That was evil. Okay. But I think can it be really helpful with where we're going? Prepare the body. Find your pubic bone. Pick both those knees up off the ground. Feel your quads, feel your inner thighs. Push off the tops of your feet as you reach the crown of your head forward. And lift your chest. Stay very low. So it's like you're lying on a glass table and you're trying not to break it. Send your right arm around for a circle. Sweep it around ahead of you as far as you can without losing your pelvis. Sweep it back. Check pubic bone and sweep your left. So I have a sense of centering the spine and the pelvis, but then I'm in the flow of the arm arc. Sweep the arm, stretch those knees. Sweep it back. Sweep the arm. Sweep it back. Now sweep the right arm forward, bring it in and turn your head to look right. Lay down. So I'm laying on my right palm. I'm looking right. You're going to bring your chest up and turn and tip your right elbow to the ceiling as far as you can. Check your pelvis, check your knees, lay back down. You're going to do it again. Think long. Check pelvis, stretch those legs, and turn and look up as far as you can. Lower back down. Carefully you don't push the belly into the floor. So that's tricky, right? The further you come up with your spine, with your chest, the more challenge it is on your core. You don't want that waist to expand. Be careful. That's going to irritate your lower back. You're not going to like me as it gets to about 10 a.m., so you've got to really keep the discipline as we move through the pattern. Only come up as far as you've still got your narrow waist, as you've still got your pubic bone on the floor. Okay, switch sides. Tough to keep those knees straight, huh? Don't know about you, my knees want to rest. Okay, here we go. Think long. Turn and look up to that left elbow. Stretch through the right arm, stretch through both knees, set your waist, lower back down. And think long, crown of the head reaching forward, tops of the feet pushing down, pelvis grounded, and lower back down. And keep up. Last one. And tip up. Okay, I promised we'd swim. I said it was a swim day. Okay, here we go. Let's start steady. So let's push the palms into the floor and let's lift the chest. Let's find the pelvis. The pubic bone should be on the floor. Let's send right arm, left leg. Raise them as high. High as you can without losing your pubic bone, without dropping through your belly wall. 
other side. Raise left arm, right leg. How far can you go? Keep raising. Think long. Stretch your elbow. Stretch your knee. Return. Raise right arm. High as you can. Stretch that elbow. Reach back through your left pinkies. Good. Really stretch through your right knee as well. You're still pushing off that right foot and the left hand. Here we go. Raise left arm. Good. You're pushing off the left foot. Left knee straight. You're pushing off the right palm. Right elbow straight. Little quicker. Raise. Other two pushing. Raise. Two are still pushing. Raise. Think about the push on the two you left behind. Raise. Raise. Both are off the floor. Everything is off. Lift, 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 lift. Breathe. Think long. Waist is narrowing. Pubic bone pushing down. Limbs are long. There's a sense of reaching away from centre. Breathe whenever you need to. We're nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Get back. We finish the same way we started. Tuck your toes. Drop your head. Set your feet up. Roll back up. Stand tall, sweep your arms around and up. And cat stretch, standing up, find it. Roll down, walk up quickly. We have to push up, ladies. A one, a two, three, four, five. Quickly walk back in. And roll back up with me. And straighten your knees, stand tall, look up, 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 up. That should feel fabulous now. Open your arms, roll down. Cat stretch standing. Are you there? Down to your depth. Quickly walk out. Five push-ups. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Walk back in. And roll back up. We have one more set. Hang in there. And reach up. Look, look, look. Check your pelvis. And open out and round your back. Pull that waist back. Okay, walk out, keeping your waist. Push up, keeping your waist. Walk back in with your waist. Roll back up with your waist. Oh, happy Thursday. I hope you feel as good as I do. Have a great rest of your day. Thanks. Thanks, Kat. Great. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.